Okay, let's all take a breath. <laughs> Welcome, Ryan and Danielle. You look great. <laughs> and it is an honor to be here today uh, for this special moment. Your story began when Danielle was visiting the Turning Point Church service, and Ryan was sitting behind Danielle. And during the worship, he noticed how she not only sang, but swayed to the music. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I think we should all sway here for a moment. Can we just sway for a second here? This is so good. All right. After service, there was a brief conversation in the courtyard, and Danielle noticed how Ryan listened. So engaged and present, making her feel at ease and connected. I asked you both to imagine your 40th wedding anniversary, God willing, and what words you would describe your marriage on that day. There was one special word that both of you shared, and that word was adventurous. Always remember the God of your adventure. Trust Him when things are hard. Rejoice with Him daily as you embark on this beautiful adventure with Him and starting today with each other. Amen. You know, words, words can't express how incredibly proud I am of you. Being your dad has, has been one of the greatest honors of my life. And watching you grow up from that little peanut of a girl uh, to the woman you are today, has just been a true joy. And I love you so much. Your heart is filled with kindness, generosity, and the overall genuine love for others. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Danielle. This is what I love about her. She has such grace. Doors would open for her, and then doors would close for her. You know, she got the Fulbright Scholarship. She was going to head to Turkey, work at the university there. The coup happened. That got canceled. She handled it with grace. That was fine. And she just relied on God. She said, what's the next door? And that next door did open. And then she went to the West Bank in Israel. Although, you know, I would never tell you that I was worried about you. Honestly, I was. I would never ever want to discourage you because I knew where your heart was and I knew what you wanted to accomplish. When she did finally did come home after her second stint in the West Banks, I started praying that somebody would enter her life and make her happy. And then she met Ryan, and Ryan, you were that answer to the prayer. And when I first met you, Ryan, I just knew automatically. You know, Danielle was downplaying it. No. No. <laughs> There's, you know, we're just friends. <laughs> and I looked at his hair. <laughs> and I says, she likes hair. <laughs> says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I knew, and I knew Ryan, and he was so kind and so gracious. You know, and so respectful. I I heard it for the last 48 hours. They hold Ryan up here. Ryan's up here. The rest of us are here. 
<laughs> we just got to get ex we got to get used to it. But he's an inspiration, right? And I'm so grateful that you're marrying Daniel. She deserves you, and you deserve her. Okay. So I know that there's traditions, and part of that tradition is to give you advice. First piece of advice is keep God in the center of your marriage all the time. Second piece of advice, commit to each other and keep each other first in your life. And then the third piece of advice, and if the second piece of advice doesn't work, refer to the first piece of advice. Okay? Number three, never let the sun set when you're angry or upset with each other. And if you can't figure that out, refer back to number one. Okay? That's my advice. We love you. I love you. Ryan and Danielle first started dating, you get those long phone calls as a sister with every detail on what happened in the date, how we're feeling, what we want, what we're de in denial about. And listening to her, I got a good feel of the type of relationship they were starting to have. And I was listening to the radio and a song came on that reminded me just of their relationship. In the song, the lyrics say, um, he lifts me up instead of holding me down. He takes my hand instead of taking my crown. And Danielle wears a crown. Not in like the way, like, I'm the queen, not like that. Um, she wears a crown and like, she wears a crown of kindness and a crown of passion mm -hmm. and compassion. Um, and she's so driven, like my dad shared, um, when she puts her mind to something, there's no stopping her. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like just listening to Danielle now and even in the beginning of your relationship, Ryan elevates those things in you, and he encourages those things in you, which is so important. You guys are the perfect match, period. Um, we couldn't imagine anyone more perfect for Danielle than you, Ryan. I wanted to share another perspective of Danielle. Um, she gives her heart fully in everything that she does. Um, like my dad shared, her going to the West Bank, she just loves people so much. And when she's in it, she's in it. And Ryan, that's a huge blessing for your marriage. Um, she is going to be so in it for you. I'm sorry. Um, I wasn't physically present for most of your 
a dating relationship. But to see you open up as a person. Interestingly enough, she came to visit me like the summer before you guys started dating. And we just had this conversation on my couch, just her not knowing what the future would hold. And God has blessed you guys so much. Sorry, ugly tears, but um, she just, you were so special to her, to both of us, to our whole family, because you love her so deeply, and you see her for who she is, and you give her a peace that she has been yearning for for so long, and we cannot thank you enough for fulfilling that role. Um, I think it's just a testament to how God chooses the perfect person for us. And we can't even imagine what he has in store for us. So I'm sorry for the tears. Um, but we love you, Ryan, so much. Welcome to the family. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay. Yay. How's everyone doing? Yeah. My name is Matt Upton. I'm Ryan's best man, his best brother, his only brother. Um, <laughs> but I've known Ryan since he was born. Um, yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, but we're different in a lot of ways. Um, he's athletic. I'm, you know, not so much. Um, <laughs> He's got the hair. I, you know, I've got a little bit of hair left. Um, which you will become bald one day. <laughs> Just wait. Danny will still love you. Though, yeah. um, but in spite of our differences, my brother is my best friend in the world. I'll never forget when we were younger, Ryan was studying the Bible. And one of the team, team leaders came up to me and said, oh, man. Um, he just said, Ryan looks up to you, he admires you, he respects you, he, he wants to be you. And, and I, I think what's, why it stuck with me was that I just, I felt the same way toward him. I admire you, I respect you, I love you so deeply. Um, Ryan's an incredibly compassionate person. Everyone knows that look that you have, that when you're talking to someone, that look of concern, of genuine affection, and it can be anyone. It could be someone off the street, and you would generally want to know them and connect with them heart to heart. Um, but now with Ryan and Danny joined, I feel like that love and that compassion that you both have for other people is going to be an unstoppable force. Um, you both amplify Jesus' love. And again, that's been said over and over 
Danny, I appreciate how you just always build Ryan up and you support him in whatever he puts his mind to. And he's always gonna need you there. You're incredibly successful in your own right, but he still feels like he's the man around you, which is very important. Uh, but you enable him to be who he wants to be. So I, I just so appreciate that about your relationship. A toast to the new couple. Uh, may you continue to have a love that overcomes pandemics, that is consistently provided to the world, and that can only be described by that beautiful look that you guys shared today. Danielle Lynn, I've been smitten with you since our first conversation. You captured my senses in every way with your unmatched beauty, intelligence, gentleness, authenticity, generous laughter, and deep love for people. I promise to be faithful to you, to treat you like the queen you are, to make my heart accessible to yours. I promise to partner with God to remind you of the truth about who you are, who you truly are, attacking the lies that so often deceive. I promise to live completely in the light to hold no secrets from you. I promise to enrich your life in the form of goofy yet mesmerizing dance moves, <laughs> to hoist you over my shoulder and relocate you just a few feet away, <laughs> and to handstand semi-dangerously but also super attractively oh my gosh. <laughs> at the edge of cliffs. <laughs> I promise to listen to God's longing for us to go on fantastic adventures together, to explore, to do hard things, and to fully trust in His good and perfect will. I am completely yours, Danielle. I commit my heart to yours. I love you, Ryan Upton. Uh, you are an amazing man. I love how God's heart just radiates from within you. You go out of your way to really be with people to see them and make sure that they belong, they feel that they belong. Mm. You notice people and you love with a generosity that's so rare. Mm. And these things are just God in you. Mm. I love your adventurous spirit and how much fun we have. 
We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> you are my best friend, my partner, and the one with whom my heart experiences the most joy. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful new beginning this is. You're the only person I would ever want to do this journey with. Mm -hmm. Ryan, before God and before our amazing community of witnesses, I promise to love you for the rest of our days. Mm -hmm. I promise to partner with God in cheering you on and to support the incredible visions that he has placed in your heart. I promise to remind you of the truth when the world feels heavy or dark, to remind you of the depth of God's love for you always. <laughs> I promise to be a safe space for all of your thoughts and ideas, battles and fears, creativity and goofiness, your whole self and everything that you are. I love all of you. <laughs> I choose you, Ryan, every day, every moment, every challenge, every unknown, I choose you. is setting behind us and we catch the last glimpses of this amazing cathedral that God has created that is way beyond anything that we could have found anywhere else. Uh, we wanted to just uh, give to Ryan and Danielle a, a memory of this incredible day that will always be such a big part of your lives and your love legacy. So Kim... We also wanted to say a deep thanks to the Claypool family. Um, first, for the efforts that it took to create that amazing cathedral over there, where we saw these two beautiful people married. Um, this, the faith that you had and just the um, calm that you had in the midst of this COVID craziness. Uh, thank you for this dinner, for this time together with very, very special people. Thank you so much. And as Ryan's parents, we thank you from the depths of our heart for raising such an amazing, beautiful, loving woman as Danielle. Love you so much. 
So we did want to ask if Ryan and Danielle would go over to this easel and rip open the paper that's on top of that. <laughs> easel. Easel. What is amazing and what makes us know that God has been present through this entire time is that a woman on Etsy made this in preparation for the wedding that was going to be held at the 1909 that we were all invited to in Topanga Canyon. And yet, when it had to change to this venue, uh, she was able to transform it. And I feel like it is so representative of the beauty that we see right here. Yes, we love you. What has gotten into me? It's like I'm in some dream when I look at you. Yeah, you. And I'm giving high fives out for free. To everyone I see Just cause I want to What's up? Can't put my finger on it Or find the words to explain I just know I want it That thing Give me that thing that you do Give me that brightness to you Give me that buzzing underneath my skin Again Show me that look in your eye And baby I think I can fly Give me you Just can't hide We're a little crazy Can't put my finger on it Find the words to explain I just know